Section 2-7, Problem Solving, Consecutive Integers. <laughs> All right, Problem Solving, Consecutive Integers. What is the objective? Well, to write equations to represent relationships among integers. Okay, relationships among integers. What are the integers? You know, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Eight, you know, those positive, negative, whole number things. We've talked about these before. Consecutive integers are integers that are consecutive right in a row, you know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Some other consecutive integers, you know, 2001, 2002, right? Another consecutive, negative eight, negative seven, negative six, right? These are all consecutive integers. Consecutive odd integers are, you know, similar, you know, you're going one after another. Um, but these guys um, are just the odd numbers consecutively. 3, 5, 7, right? 10, oh no, whoops, 9, 11, 13, right? The consecutive integers are good jumping up one each time. They're jumping up one each time. The consecutive odd integers are jumping up two each time. Consecutive even integers, negative 6, negative 4, negative 2. Those guys are also, um, you know, going, going up just consecutive even, but they also jump two at a time. Notice that, right? Like 10, 12, whoops, 12, 14. It's going up two at a time. But they're consecutive. They're one right after another. One odd integer after another, okay? One consecutive integer after another. So let's look at, here's another look at consecutive integers. Um, look at this, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to rewrite this as um, 6, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 2, 6 plus 3. Is that the same thing? Let's see. Um, 6 plus 1 is 7. 6 plus 2 is 8. 6 plus 3 is 9. And actually, that's kind of like the, the, the beginning of our formula, that if we're going to, if we don't know what the first consecutive integer is, suppose you wanted to call it x. We can call the next one, you know it's going to be, it's consecutive, the next one's just one more than that. Well, the next one after that is just one more than x plus 1. Well, which would be x plus 1 plus 1 more, or x plus 2, right? The next one will be x plus 3. So this is what we use when we don't know um, the, what, you know, unknown, the consecutive integers we're trying to figure out. You get the first one x, then x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. Kind of cool, right? So consecutive odd integers, 11, 13, 15, 17. Well, I can kind of, just like I did with those consecutive integers, I can really write it like this, 11, and 13 I can write as 11 plus 3. Two. Um, let's see. Fifteen, I can write as eleven plus four, um, and seventeen, I can write as eleven plus six. Right? Cool. Let's double check. Eleven and two is thirteen. Eleven and four is fifteen. Eleven and six is seventeen. Cool. So notice that eleven, that first number. I'm writing them all, into, you know, using the first number. So suppose I didn't know the first number. Wouldn't the next odd integer, consecutive odd integer, be two more than it? Yeah. Odd numbers are jumping up by 2, so I make it x plus 2. And the next odd integer would be 2 more than that. So it would be x plus 2 plus 2 more, so x plus 4. And the next one would be 2 after that, x plus 4 plus 2 more, x plus 6, right? Interesting. The even numbers, right? Same kind of thing, right? Let's check it out. I can rewrite this, 4, 6, 8, 10 as 4. I can write 6 as 4 plus 2. 8 as... 4 plus 4, and 10 as 4 plus 6, right? So again, I'm jumping up 2, then 2 more, and then 2 more. So if I didn't know the first one, I could write it x. The next one, x plus 2. The next one, x plus 4. And then finally, x plus 6. If I was going to look at something, if I kept going, plus 8 plus whatever, you know? Kind of cool. So kind of when you look at it, uh, we've got just a recap here for unknowns, right? When you have consecutive integers, you can call the first one n, or x. The next one, n plus 1, or x plus 1, and then x plus 2, and then x plus 3. Whoops. But when you're doing odd or even, you're going to do it like this because you have to write plus 2, plus 4, plus 6, because you're jumping up by 2 each time. Odd numbers are all 2 apart. Even numbers are 2 apart. So they look like this, n, n plus 2, n plus 4, n plus 6. Or you could use x if you'd like. You could use q, m, sigma, uh, whatever you want to do. So could we rewrite it um, in a way, well, I, oh, oops, I'll scribble that, by making n our greatest? You know, if I have consecutive integers, could I just make this guy 
Um, let's see, can I rewrite this like 9? And rewrite 8 as, let's see, relationship. Wouldn't that be 9 minus 1? It wouldn't 7 be 9 minus 2? And wouldn't be 6 be 9 minus 3? Yeah. So you can actually start out with the highest integer. Before we were talking with the lowest one, we could talk with the highest one and call that one x. And then just, you know, go down x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. It would still work, but you should remember that the one you're solving for when you're solving an equation is the greatest one. Right? So that's another way you could do it. So when you find out what x is, just remember that's the greatest one in the sequence. Right? Could we make n the middle of five consecutive odd integers? Ooh, ooh, weird. So suppose I wanted to, basically I want to rewrite them all according to this guy. So let's see. Um, I can keep this guy at negative one, right? And let's see, how do I get to one? I have to go up two. So this would be negative one plus two. And this guy would be negative one plus three, wouldn't it? Hmm. And this guy would be negative one minus two. And this guy would be negative one minus four. Why didn't I do... Oh, duh. Negative one minus plus two, negative one plus four. That's what's wrong. Okay. So, yeah, so I could start here. So I could make x the middle one, couldn't I? And then just the next one up would be x plus two. And the next one up would be x plus four. The one before it is 2 before it, so it's x minus 2, isn't it? And the one before that is 2 before that, x minus 4. You could take any, let's see if I take a number. Let's let x equal 11. Let's see if this works. So I get 11 in the middle, right? 11 plus 2, I get 13. 11 plus 4, I get 15. 11 minus 2 to the left, let's see, I get 9. 11 minus 4, 7. Look at that, consecutive odd integers. But you just have to remember where you put n or where you put x, okay? So when you solve, if you're using this to solve, remember the number you found is the middle one. Then you've got to add and subtract. That's just another way to look at it. You know, you know when in doubt, I mean, really, that's just getting fancy-dancy, right? Start with x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. That's, you know, that's, that's easier than n plus 2, 4, 6 for the odds and evens. It's, you're not going to get yourself in trouble. Here we go. The sum of four consecutive integers is negative 100. Well, here we go. Four consecutive integers, x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, right? The sum of them, oh, just adding them, is negative 100. Now I can combine the terms, x plus x plus x plus x is 4x. 2 and 1 and 3 is plus 6 equals negative 100. If you subtract 6, I get 4x equals negative 106. Hmm, hmm, weird. Did I do that right? x, x plus 1 x plus 2, x plus 3. Yes, I did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, x plus 6. Oh, yeah, anyway. 4x equals negative 106. Um, all right, but the photos are going to that evenly, so I don't know. Uh, whatever. Let's, we just set up the equation for this one, so let's keep going. And finally, just to set up the equation for this one, the smaller of two consecutive integers is 5 more than half the product of the greater integer in 4. What? So I have two consecutive. Let's, we'll call this small and large. We'll call this one... I don't know, x, and this guy, x, two consecutive integers, plus one. So the smaller is, okay, the smaller x is five more than, okay, five more than one half the product, oh my goodness, one half a product of the greater, which is x plus one, and four, four, which would probably look better if I did one half, four, x plus one, plus five. Well, I was, and solve that, so where, man, the smaller two can, wow, wow, that was tough. So anyway, that is, you know, your consecutive integers in a nutshell. Enjoy.